So the company products cover the three primary <coughs> operational functions of the insurance provider. So policy billing and uh, claims. So one of the major, uh, you know, important uh, thing and advantage of the guideware is nothing but guideware deals with uh, the three tools. So first one is a policy center where the policies can be created. And in case any loss happened, the claims needs to be opened uh, against the policy. So that deals with the claim center applications and related to payments on the policies or any delinquency scenarios or any workflows of the payments, right? From the billing uh, that related will be a deal in the billing center applications. So basically, uh, you know, the guideware has a three major applications, policy center, billing center, and claim center. So all these three applications usually called as a guideware suite. So what is a property and uh, casualty insurance? Uh, so usually PNC insurance, uh, you know, uh, that deals with uh, any homes like a property and the cars is nothing but any vehicles or anything. So sometimes the business operations, workers' compensations. So all these uh, LOBs will be part of uh, PNC insurance uh, rather than the health and life insurance. So why Guideware? Uh, the reason is like, you know, Guideware is uh, very, uh, you know, well established in, in terms of the, you know, to deal with the insurance uh, end to end life cycle. Uh, basically, Guideware provides the base product uh, to the clients and the clients usually modify the base applications based on their uh, specific own requirements. So Guideware has a lot of uh, advantages, a lot of the functionalities. And uh, whenever any clients, uh, you know, bought a Guideware product, right? So they can modify accordingly. And then can, they can implement only those uh, features into their uh, applications. So so one of the main advantages is nothing but uh, Guideware provides a set of uh, their own resources. Like uh, they have, uh, you know, um, the implementations like how to uh, perform the requirement gatherings, how to develop it, how to perform the testing and support. So all the documentations will be given by the guideware itself, but it is a similar to uh, the QA part itself, but they can give uh, the templates and all how it should be maintained from the guideware side. So how the user story should be written, how the acceptance criteria should be written, and uh, you know how the development should be done. So everything will be provided by the guideware itself. And even those resources uh, will be given uh, in the actual projects and you know, uh, you know the team can leverage uh, with that. So it also config it also sub integration parts. Guideware supports n number of the integrations, irrespective of there is no limitations. It can be easily configured and integrations with any third party applications. And uh, these are the guideware uh, own uh, you know accelerators like marketplace, product design, accelerators and extensions, training and worksheets, frameworks, guideware easy guide, and user story guide. So usually in the guideware, right, uh, whenever, uh, you know, if anybody part of the guideware team, uh, they will be get access to, uh, you know, all these applications. So major these applications for the developers, but the senior folks in the team, they can access the product design, how exactly the products are configured from the, you know, product designer and accelerators for, you know, extensions. This is for the, you know, developers and training and worksheets. Uh, they will be receiving the application guide so that they can learn only, I mean, they can learn from the application guide and the framework for the queue and the developers will be given and the guide were easy guide, uh, like the policies and application guide also will be provided. User story guide is nothing be written and how the product model everything will be configured in the guideware applications <laughs> my, my bad sorry so uh, so guideware provides all the set of uh, its own resources uh, for the quick uh, you know uh, for the quick uh, project uh, you know uh, uh, to complete every all the activities <laughs> so other insurance products uh, majorly in the market uh, there are the duck creek and the majesco and there are some uh, own applications which is called as a guideware portals Okay, uh, so this is about the first slide. Any questions on this? Otherwise, let me move on to the next slide. Uh, yeah, so this is, I have already, uh, you know, covered at high level. So Guideware Insurance has uh, majorly three tools, uh, three applications. Uh, first one is a policy center where, uh, you know, uh, a agent can uh, create or modify, cancel or renew the policies. 
and any loss happens uh, you know uh, then the claims will be opened against the policy so that will be uh, you know performed through claims and replication and the billing center obviously any policy holder for the policy commissions and producers any agent commissions needs to be received or uh, how the delinquency plans will be implemented the cancellations or any fee or charges so everything will be part of the uh, billing center applications so in this demo we are covering only the policy center uh, application not a claim center and billing center uh, so the current version of the policy guide varies. Uh, so 10 dot uh, change, I mean 10 dot, uh, you know, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04. So usually that is the latest version in the market. But uh, uh, what, uh, what I heard like, you know, currently there is no updates on the version numbers like 10, 11, 12. So that is not going to be happen. Uh, they are frequently changing, uh, uh, you know, they are moving to the cloud. So it is usually called as a guideware cloud. Okay. So that is the latest version. But uh, guideware starts with, you know, 6.07.08.09.4. .06 .09 now the stable version is a 10.0. So in future, so there, there might not be the versions called as 11, 12, 13. So they are uh, simplifying as a guideware cloud and everything is including in the guideware itself. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so I think uh, guideware suit. Uh, so policy center, billing center, claim center. Uh, usually, this is a web-based application, and uh, which is handled by the you know producers, agents, or underwriter, underwriters, and the policy administration system designed for the personal and commercial line carriers in the property and casualty industry. So uh, I think the policy center I have already explained. Uh, so policy usually further delivers the convenient access to the agents to streamline the producer relationships and improves the underwriting risk management. So basically whatever uh, we, we will be learning in the policy center, we always log in with either the agents or the underwriters because most of the initial part of the creation of the claims or any assessing uh, the risk and everything will be done by the agent producers and underwriting uh, risk management. So agents usually from the, uh, you know, either it will be internal or external. It uh, depends on the agent role. Uh, claim center and billing center, I'm going to skip uh, because I have, uh, you know, uh, explained uh, in the previous slide. So, <clears throat> so carriers are able to quickly respond to the change business requirements and grow the business in a way current legacy systems cannot. So what are the legacy systems is nothing but usually, uh, you know, the policy policies uh, used to create in the mainframe applications or any portals or any internal applications. So so those has a lot of disadvantages uh, like, uh, you know, the document creations, the document upload, underwriting risk management, or, uh, you know, it, it, it might not integrate uh, properly with, uh, you know, third party integrations. So those are a lot of, uh, you know, disadvantages are there. So carriers, uh, carriers is nothing but the companies, the clients. So client, you uh, basically nowadays they are moving into the guideware uh, tool applications. Uh, so integrations are easily enabled with the products such as a policy center, billing center, and claim center and contact manager. So these are the internal guideware, uh, you know, applications, billing, claim, and contact manager. Apart from the internal, it will be. Uh, it can easily integrate with the third party as well. It can be anything, either Lexus, Nexus, or uh, MVR reports, VMM reports, Clue reports, uh, there any other third party. <coughs> Majesco also, it, it supports uh, Majesco, it supports a duck. Any tool, it can be easily uh, integrated. Okay. So developers usually, uh, you know, they use a Guideway Studio uh, as an integrated development environment to configure the policy center to meet the business needs. So developer use the guideware studio as a tool to develop all their uh, requirements and all. Uh, they don't use any Eclipse and all. So guideware supports only the guideware studio with the help of the Gosu language. Uh, this is a guideware project lifecycle. This is a similar to, you know, uh, kind of uh, SDLC uh, where the project starts with the pre-inception plan and the inception. And uh, usually uh, the inception phase, uh, you know, uh, the business requirements will be defined and the infrastructures will be designed, <laughs> the project team structures, how the governance should work and any trainings is required for the whole team members, including the, you know, BA, QA developers. So everybody gets, uh, you know, uh, gets trained and uh, they need to complete the certification. So all this happened in the pre-inception and in inception phase and uh, based on the experience level, the estimations and everything will be 
are provided and given in the pre-inception and inception phase. So once this phase is completed, uh, obviously the development starts working on the, you know, develop developing their code. Uh, and it will be done by using the help of the BA and uh, developers. And uh, obviously the QA also needs to be involved to understand the requirements and, uh, you know, uh, start uh, initiating the test cases or, uh, you know, test scenarios, test plan. And the stabilization, uh, which is for the QA part, uh, so it will be done uh, all kind of the testing, uh, starting from the manual automation, API, ETL, or whatever it is, all the testings will be done in the stabilization phase. So once the phase is completed and uh, you know if there is no risk, so the code will be moved to the deployment, uh, starting from the pre, uh, pre productions to the production phase. And uh, once it is moved to the production, it will be a support and success. So based on the any change requirements or anything, the business will uh, provide with the new requirements. So this is a basic kind of the, you know, SDLC process. So so it has a good results like, you know, better implementation, improve efficiency, increase accountability and higher quality. So this is a basic kind of thing. Yeah. So connecting, connecting to the policy center. Uh, so this is how the login screen looks like for the policy center. So as you've seen, this is a web application. I have uh, captured the screenshot from the Google Chrome and you can see the policy center logo and this is the latest version. The URL you can see localhost 8180 because uh, you know this application is installed in my laptop, local laptop. So that is where the URL uh, you know has a local host. Okay, but once it get installed in your machine also, and this is going to be the URL and the passwords, uh, everything will be shared later. Uh, so, and guideware supports uh, any browser. There is no limitations and all Edge, Chrome, Firefox, uh, everything will be supported. And it is a highly secure. Uh, it won't support any refresh <laughs> or a back button. So these buttons are not uh, supported by the guideware applications because the screens are uh, changed dynamically. Uh, like the bank applications, right? Uh, I mean, the banks are, won't support the refresh and uh, the back uh, back button, right? So in the same way, Guideware also will not support uh, because of the security issues. Uh, so these are the line of businesses uh, supported by the uh, Guideware Policy Center, starting from the you know uh, business or to business uh, uh, operations. Oh my bad. Okay inline marine general liability commercial property uh, and the personal auto and workers compensation so all these lobs will be supported by the uh, you know uh, guideware policies and applications uh, type of a testing in uh, guideware uh, so these are the functional concepts which are going to learn functional and configuration we are covering as a part of the entire training starting from the product model form testing uh, you know underwriting rules how it will be configured validation error messages, the premium validations, rating factors. Uh, <clears throat> at Guideware Upgrade, we unfortunately, we cannot do it because uh, Guideware Upgrade usually, uh, if the client is moving from one version to another version, but we cannot do it, but uh, some projects will be Guideware Upgrade also. So if any client wants to move from Guideware 9.0 to 10.0, so they, those projects called as a guide were upgrade projects and activities like work plan, any risk, is there any task is assigned to, you know, underwriter or uh, agent. So that is also one of the important thing uh, from the functional perspective. And configuration, how the product model forms, underwriting rules, uh, you know, the requirements will be derived, how it will be loaded in the policies under applications. So these are coming under the configuration testing. So this also we are going to, you know, uh, learn as a part of the training. So integrations, no, we cannot do it uh, because uh, obviously there are limitations because our uh, base product is not integrated with anything. But uh, as per, uh, based on my experience, I will give all the integrations uh, scenarios and what are the tools it deals with, uh, you know, while creation of the policy, either it is a documents or anything. So most of the thing, most of the integration parts I will be covered uh, with the examples, but uh, you know, hands-on we cannot do it. Yeah. And uh, these are the additional testing will be done uh, as a part of the project regression or retesting or whatever it is, smoke testing, sanity, performance and automation will be done in the need basis. So usually if you, in case, uh, you know, if you are uh, part of any guideware project, so these are the things uh, you might uh, expect in the real time applications but not everything, it is a limited. Okay, some, some projects only deals with the product model. They don't even deal with all these. 
some projects deals with only rate factors they don't even work on product model forms and all there are some projects only related to the forms so they work only with the documents they don't bother about other things so better uh, the, due to that reason i have covered everything but most of the parts will be covered as a part of the uh, you know our uh, policy center training yeah so that's all uh, on high level uh, so if you have any questions or uh, anything uh, just to let me know so that you know i can update you and by the way like uh, yeah i have around 10 plus years of experience and uh, the, in the claim policy center uh, i have uh, around 6 years uh, and i worked in claim center and billing center as well uh, i have completed uh, a certified in the policy center uh, yeah ac is a kind of a business analyst for the policy center yeah Okay, so now you basically work on policy center or...